I don't know if I was, I don't think we were picking each other's brains, but I think you learn a lot from just being in a scene with somebody, you know, you, it's a kind of an intimate, strange thing where you kind of, you're having to do something together, but against each other. Those are g the good scenes. Like she constantly in actual life is a little bit ahead of me and like just <laughs> smarter in general and, and frustrating me. Um, and I try to do it back in the only way I know how. And, um, and yeah, I'm just fighting for my life over here. <laughs> uh, so. You also learn a lot when you're working with another actor that's great and professional and present and interesting. You learn a lot about yourself too because you're, you know, you're, it's a dance that you're doing yeah. like with the other person. And mm -hmm. so you learn a lot about, oh, you know, get, it's informs like how you are, you know, maybe your character is feeling or, oh, there's a thing, there's like a button he's pressing that I didn't see or how am I gonna, you know, you, the person's keeping you on your toes, which is fun. It, it, yeah. it helps your performance like feel alive. There's a lot of ways you can do a scene, obviously. And like, she could come in and be really vulnerable and that would change, that would change the way that I had a plan coming into the scene and vice versa. Like, you know, she could come in and be like, even more just like in my face, just messing everything up, but doing it with a smile and kind of like with that like saccharine sweet, like, yeah, <laughs> hi, <laughs> you know, sort of a thing. And you just like, you just want to just murder the person, but you can't. And uh, <laughs> so it, it would just do really fun things, you know, you, if, as long as you just met the person wherever they were. I produced Black Widow before, like when we did it um, before COVID. And that was actually great because I was able to do you know, like see through the creative process on that. Um, and then I, you know, you realize you're like, oh, I can never not produce something that I'm in because yeah. it's so much more efficient. Um, you know, unless like something is handed to you and it's a production, you're like, oh, you're working for Wes Anderson. And obviously like I'm, you know, he's got his own well-oiled machine. Like I'm just dipping into his universe. But mm -hmm. I think like m for the most part, I think that's why you see so many actors now producing the films that they, they are in or producing films for other actors because it's just so much more efficient. Um, and I think it just keeps like a happier set really because you just know sort of what everybody needs to do their job. I think I was producing the one before, which was a complete nightmare of a shoot. It just went all sideways. And then I came into this one, I was just like, oh wow, I have days off on this one. <laughs> and I have like, I don't have to like go to like production meetings after this day. I can just go home, yay. Like, you know, <laughs> like, and I was like, this is great. I need to do this more often. Um, but I think each one is unique and you just kind of try to make it the best you possibly can. Like I'm doing a movie now that's so heavy. And so like, it's such a tiny little movie, but you've, you know, you feel like you're giving more than you do on this massive movie that we were there for months. And, you know, it's it's just all different. Also, the, the, the big part of, I think, that for an actor that wants to produce is like you're usually in the development process and you can really sort of set yourself up to win. You can set the movie up to win, set it up for your strengths and like where you want to see the movie go. And like, so you're, you've kind of done a lot of your character work in a way for the movie because you've built yourself into it in a way, instead of getting into it and trying to figure out how you fit. Um, so yeah.